to achieve a complete mind, study the art of science, study the science of art, learn how to see, realize that everything connects to everything else. And when I kind of heard that for the first time, I started really recognizing, I think what he really meant by that, which is that your reality and our reality is this beautiful geometric scope of experience. And that scope of experience can span across what we refer to as geometry and what we refer to as music and what we refer to as light and what we refer to as sound and what we refer to as matter and what we refer to as, as the, the geometry of space time. All of it, biology, chemistry, is all connected. You know, I can make an argument that says that mathematics in its applied form is geometry. So therefore applied geometry is physics. Applied physics would then just be chemistry and applied chemistry would be biology, and applied biology would be psychology, and applied psychology would be sociology, and applied sociology would be philosophy, and applied philosophy comes back to mathematics. So it's this total connection across all of these seemingly disparate disciplines in our life experience that leads us to recognize that, wait a minute, it's not all separate at all, it's all one. And that geometry in all of its different manifestations and forms across all those different disciplines and specialties is turning us back to recognize the oneness of the universe.